It's about time, Sam. You've been running around making messes for too long, and now I'm going to choke the life from you. <laughs> I can't wait to watch you die. Hey guys, welcome to the Silver Report Uncut. Now I apologize in advance if the sound is a little off. I'm not in my normal location, but this needs to be covered now. We see an all-time record. 3.3 million Americans have just filed for unemployment benefits this week. It's shocking. We have never seen this many job losses this fast. And the International Labor Organization, they project that next week's is going to be the real bad one. That this was nothing, the only the tip of the iceberg. They anticipate next week's filings will be upwards of 25 million people. Now, I can't take anything away from that, that an economic collapse is a health crisis. My view is that the health crisis is also significant, and we are underplaying the real threat from this. Now, the scary point is that this is almost double the expectations of 1.7 million on the data. Previous to this week, the largest we've ever seen was 695,000 during the week that ended October 2nd, 1982. And the service industries, they were hit hard. They also cited health care and social assistance, arts, entertainment and recreation, transportation, warehousing, manufacturing. And we're still seeing the production halts begin to work their way through the U.S. Now, yesterday I brought up a fact that, you know, Amazon, if you notice, there's still a ton of items that take a month or more to get to your house. And they say they are having some delays. And we also see that Apple came out and they have delayed the release of their iPhone 5 because they said they have production issues. So these things are still not being manufactured. China's economy is still not operating correctly. And interestingly is that someone responded to this comment saying that maybe they're just moving manufacturing back to the U.S. and we're getting the U.S. back on track. We're really reviving things. And honestly, we see Caterpillar has halted production in the United States Elon Musk the other day was, you know, making a big fuss saying that it was dumb. Why would he shut down his thing? Now he has two employees that have been confirmed. Now they think the actual unemployment claims were much, much higher because several states had estimates or estimated claims. And the problem was they could not handle the volume of people that were filing. Several states had their unemployment websites crash and they were running low or malfunctioning because of the massive volume of applicants trying to file at the same time. Now, the states that had the largest jump in advanced claims from the prior week were Pennsylvania, Ohio, and New Jersey. Now, Chris Dembick, he's from Saxo Bank. He said, keep in mind, an undefined number of claims went unreported as states' unemployment insurance program offices were overwhelmed by the massive number of applications, both by phone and online. Some states were informed that their phone lines were saturated and their websites crashed due to high demand. It means that next week's data might be very ugly as well. Now, we look at the four largest U.S. state economies that represent one third of U.S. GDP, and that would be Florida, New York, Texas and California. It seems like they are all having significant amounts of job losses at this point. Now, if you remember, Ballard from the St. Louis Fed came out and he anticipated we could see a U.S. unemployment rate of 30 percent in quarter two. My biggest problem is the fact that they did this stimulus package already, right? And the main focus has been on giving taxpayer money to banks to create dollars. Now, Jerome Powell came out and said they're not just writing blank checks and there is nothing that is wrong with the U.S. economy right now. Honestly, I don't have any answers. I'm not in the man's position. I have no idea what I would do because it almost seems like there are no answers at this point. What is worse? That's the reason we have created this program, because we told you that a crash was coming, the worst depression ever seen in the United States. The goal of this was that you would go out and to prepare yourselves as best as possible and to not listen to the lies telling you that the hit to the U.S. economy is going to be very minimal. I also suggest that the big banks putting out this information, we're going to have a V-shaped recovery, and by quarter three, we're going to ha be soaring our GDP, flying off the charts. Keep in mind, the head of the central bank just came out and said there is nothing fundamentally wrong with the U.S. economy. 3.3 million jobs 
Something is wrong.